Hey guys, today I'm going to cook a frozen Cornish game hen in the slow cooker. So let's get crocking. I have a twin pack of frozen Cornish game hens here. I cooked the other one yesterday to try this out. Came out good. So these were $3.29 per pound, uh, 3.59 pounds. So it was $11.81 for these. I used to think these were kind of expensive, but um, compared to what I've been paying for like some of the organic and free-range chicken and stuff lately it's not really that bad so the nice thing about these is like now you can cook these from frozen you can just pull one out of the freezer and just put it right in the slow cooker because you know I don't like to go out too much lately with all the virus stuff going on and then there's no giblets inside of these so you don't have to worry about that sometimes like whole chickens will have giblets inside them so you can't really do this but I'm just gonna rinse it off with warm water to kind of melt some of that ice a little bit pretty good and then we'll put it in the slow cooker and I'm going to season this with some of this Kinder's Mild Barbecue Rub. This is kind of salty. It's kind of like seasoning salt. So you could use seasoning salt if you don't have this. Or you could just use, you know, salt and pepper or any kind of chicken seasoning that you like. And I'm going to put some Johnny Seasoned Pepper on there as well. This has no salt. This is, besides the pepper, it has sugar, red and green bell pepper, garlic, and onion. <laughs> okay, we'll flip it over and do the other side now. That looks good, and I'm not adding any liquid to this. This is just a dry, slow cooker. It'll make some liquid as it cooks. So we get the lid on there. And I'm going to cook this on high, and I'll let you guys know how long it takes. A game hen has been in there for three hours and 10 minutes, and this pot has a hole there because it, it has a temperature probe that goes with it, but obviously I couldn't stick a temperature probe in a frozen bird, but I'm gonna see if I can just go through that hole and check the, the temperature of it with this quick read thermometer here. You want it to be at least 165 degrees, and that is 178, so I think that is done. Um, so I'm just gonna shut that off right there. I'll let it rest for a little bit, and then we'll try it out. This came out looking real nice. And see all this liquid in there that came out of it when it cooked? I'm hungry. Let's see how this looks inside. Pull that wing off of there. So it should just kind of pull apart. Wow, look how juicy that is. That's crazy juicy. See how this breast looks here? Ah, that looks real good. I can't believe how much juice came out of that. That's crazy. <laughs> All right, let's try a bite of that. That turned out good. Really juicy. Lanny well, showed up. You know this is going to be right up her alley. You know she's going to like this. There you go. <laughs> oh yeah, she's going to lick the floor clean on that one. <laughs> that turned out really, really juicy. I was surprised how juicy it was. So it was in there uh, three hours and ten minutes. I haven't tried it on low, so I'm not sure how that would work, but three hours and ten minutes it was in there, and then I let it sit in the pot for about a half hour before I took it out. So actually, I was real happy with that. That turned out good. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you guys.